for our president. And I have great confidence in his I don't leadership want him, I don't want him to what fail. he's been able to accomplish. I think his policies are failing. Ah, CHIPS Act, Science Act, do you oppose that? I will tell you, on every measure from the economy, inflation, borders, energy, uh, national security, he's missing an act. Wait, 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 but I, I want to challenge the premise. You said the economy, 13.1 million jobs he's created. More. These are post COVID jobs. Okay. You know that. Well, well, I mean, well, that that's an artificial well, number. It, well, but no, no, no. Then let me just let me stipulate so. this as an, as an opportunity to engage civilly on this. Okay. Fair point. Your president, Donald Trump, lost 2.6 million jobs mm -hmm. during his four years. We've created 13.1 million. Fine, you can maintain a COVID frame. How about the fact that Joe Biden's created more jobs, six times more jobs than the previous three Republican presidents your, combined? Are you oh, that's gonna hurt! Interesting what happens when you put Sean Hannity up against somebody who is not just going to regurgitate the lies that he's trying to peddle. From inflation to the economy to the border, Gavin Newsom went on Sean Hannity's very own show and utterly destroyed his every single point case by case. I think he's a man of decency and character. I'm really proud of the president. I'm proud of what he's accomplished. Is he strong last enough to be president? That's what I'm strong enough. Look about. what he just did to McCarthy. He ran Vince circles. McCarthy. Look, look at the vote card. I didn't Kevin like just vote. got. I wouldn't I mean, have voted for it. Exactly. Kevin got played by the president of the United States. I'm for results. I'm for results. I don't think the, the American the people day. benefit. I like the plan that would have saved 4.8 trillion. All right. Yeah. Starting with inflation, you know the thing that Republicans will blame Biden for, even though it's a global issue, but then if globally it's up, as Newsom points out, they won't give credit to Biden. Question. I'm answering the ones What's, in order. What you is, brought up the economy. On the economy, let's talk about the economy. You want to give him an A? Inflation, stubborn around the globe. Let's, let's, but let's talk about inflation. It's down 40% since last summer, 10 months in a row, 4.9%. He was okay. just with the UK prime minister at 6.9%. Is that because of Biden's? I think Fed Biden's policy? economic and energy policy directly yeah. impacted the UK's inflation. No, I am or the fact you. that France is 5.5 percent or Germany's at 6.1 percent. You're not on inflation. We're moving in the right direction on the issue of the border inflation, security. He inherited 1.4 percent inflation. It went up to 40-year high. Up to 40-year high. Globally. Globally, because you just brought so up, so, so you were making an excuse give, for Trump's dismal jobs record related to COVID. It wasn't a dismal jobs record. You won't acknowledge COVID's relationship to inflation globally. And by the way, let, COVID let me and immigration impacting right. our inflation. Let, let me stop you. All right. So, <laughs> and of course, it's not Hannity unless he's trying to sing the praises of his precious cult leader, Donald Trump. For our president. And I have great confidence in his I don't leadership want him, I don't want him to what fail. he's been able to accomplish. I think he, his policies are failing. Ah, CHIPS Act, Science Act, do you oppose that? Uh, I will tell you, on every measure from the economy, inflation, borders, energy, uh, national security, he's missing an action. Let's talk about them in order. Let's well, talk hang about, on. Uh, 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 wait, but no, I no, want no. to challenge the premise. You said the economy, 13.1 million jobs he's created. More. These are post COVID jobs. Okay. You know that. Well, well, I mean, well, that that's an artificial well, number. It, well, but no, no, no. Then let me just let me stipulate so. this as an, as an opportunity to engage civilly on this. Okay. Fair point. Your president, Donald Trump, lost 2.6 million jobs mm -hmm. during his four years. We've created 13.1 million. Fine, you can maintain a COVID frame. How about the fact that Joe Biden's created more jobs, six times more jobs than the previous three Republican presidents your, combined? Are you going to tell me Sean? that the average family, where we have two thirds of Americans now living paycheck to paycheck, it was 70 percent under Trump? Trump. That was seventy percent. It was seventy percent under Donald Trump. Pre COVID, Trump we had the lowest unemployment rate for every demographic. We, we, now, we have the lowest black me, unemployment in history, you. and you and I are living with the lowest unemployment we had in it. our lifetime. We, Sean, we you had can't it for make every that up. demographic, and the economy black was black unemployment's along. record low under Joe Biden. Okay. We had historic low after historic low under Donald Trump. Donald Trump. I mean, here's, but, but he's here's what I don't want to have Trump's happen. clock, Biden, in terms of the progress and job creation. You're, you, you, Look at what he's I, done I, on so jobs. What would you grade? And this is where it kind of gets funny, right? Is if you put this interview side by side with the interview that Sean Hannity had with Donald Trump just weeks ago. Supposed to, everything is like April Fool's Day nowadays, right? You get good ratings. You're supposed to get a bonus, right? But. And you know what I did? I said, I'll do the show, but I'm not going against Sean Hannity. Is that correct? Uh, That's why I was on at 8 o'clock. They had me at 9. I said, wait a minute, 9? But Sean's on at 9. I said, nope, I'm not doing it. They said, well, then we'll call it off. I said, I don't care. They wanted to do it. I didn't want to do it. They said, we'll do it at 8. Now, how nice is that? <laughs> right? 
you'd mistake it for a campaign rally. And I know there will be people that claim that we should starve Fox News of any oxygen. And as I've said many a times in previous videos, I disagree with that. I think that when you see people like Newsom and in the past, Pete Buttigieg, who has went on Fox News and shined an unwavering light on the hypocrisy of these talking heads. They were told they had jobs. They told they were going to get certain court dates changed. They were dropped off. They knocked on the door and they left. And it was not coordinated. I mean, what kind of faith tradition Every allows single, for there this is a video dehumanization of the people getting on the plane? Because they were all lied to and, and were, told, and they you're were being asked, taken care of. Everything's going to be great. I would be well, then, proud and happy. Then, then because they By the landed, way, I have the RFP. Because they landed in your sanctuary yeah. state, you're going to take care of them. They should be happy. Look, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with the car. I mean, come on. This is California. I know it's California. Okay. I'm, I'm it's, aware of where it's I am. The, on this way, the fourth largest economy in the world. We can handle of course all you of can. this, okay? I'm a border state. Ron DeSantis is not. I know he's desperate to get in on the action. No, because a lot he's of people. belly flop. Donald Trump is going to clean his clock. Is it fair clock. that Joe Biden. DeSantis we'll has see. belly flop. Do you, he will clean his clock. He needs I don't have a crystal attention. Ball. And he set this up months ago by doing an RFP. I have the contractors okay. My question that he tried is, to hire saying he was going to send people to California. This is a stunt. It's embarrassing. It's, not, it's pathetic. I, I disagree. Stunt. I think he it's did the stunt. right thing. His state's Out not a sanctuary state. Heart. Well, Joe Biden he just wanted to help people. You, will you, will you give us some insight into what she might say to justify why she was for Medicare for all then and is not for it now, for example. Well, there's a classic parlor game of trying to find a little bit of daylight between running mates. And if people want to play that game, we could look into why a, an evangelical Christian like uh, Mike Pence wants to be on a ticket with a president caught with a porn star or how he feels about the uh, uh, immigration policy that he called unconstitutional before he decided to team up with Donald Trump. If folks want to play that game, we, we could do it all night. But it can only serve as a benefit because, as I've said time and time again, Regardless of what you think about Fox News, it's the most watched n cable news network in America. So of course there's a huge audience on there which provides an opportunity um, and people in the past have, have taken that opportunity. Newsom clearly did it very well in this example. Buttigieg is another that comes to mind. Bernie Sanders has done it in the past. And I just think that if we pretend that they don't exist, it doesn't rid them of any influence. And we've seen this side of Newsom before. This is where he is at his best, when he's in a contentious environment and it is facing pushback from conservative voices because he does have his facts in order. In 2021, California had 7.8% of GDP, GDP growth in this country, one of the fastest growing economies anywhere on planet Earth. This state continues to be the tent pole of the American economy. 25.6% of all American jobs came from this state in April. In the last two fiscal years, we enjoyed $177.7 billion in operating surpluses. We're on our way to be the fourth largest economy, eat your heart out, Germany, in the world. Number one in R&D, venture capital, more scientists, researchers, more Nobel laureates, more patents emanating out of this state than any other state in America. With all due respect, Florida doesn't even come close. Eat your heart out, Texas. California continues to I be the dominant economic engine I, for the American I promised public. you before this interview I would let you give full answers. That's a full answer. Thank you. And in the end, Sean Hannity comes out of this um, looking worse. I think he's a man of decency and character. I'm really proud of the president. I'm proud of what he's accomplished. Is he in strong last few enough years. to be president? That's what I'm strong I'm enough. Look about. what he just did to McCarthy. He ran Vince circles. Look, look at the vote card. I didn't Kevin like just vote. got. I wouldn't I mean, have voted for it. Exactly. Kevin got played by the president of the United States. I'm for results. I'm for results. I don't think the, the American the people day. benefit. I like the plan that would have saved 4.8 trillion. All right. Yeah. Now. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.